Good morning. Devil may cry. E3 may be over, but there is still much to talk and discuss about Devil May Cry 5 with new info, facts and news updates. Hey what's up good people, my name is Yellow Motion, and welcome to a new Devil May Cry 5 talk and discussion video that's pretty much a continuation to my first video where I briefly talked about the new info regarding Devil May Cry 5, about its characters, story plot and gameplay, along with my own thoughts that I knew back then. So make sure to watch my first video if you haven't done so. And since then there's also much new info about the project itself from various interviews that the developers have given. And in this video I'll talk about some of the development details regarding Devil May Cry 5 and give you all the info you need to know, like the release date, the vision Itsuno has set for the game and what he wants to achieve with it and the progress of the game so far. So let's get right into it. Assistance. The reveal trailer of Devil May Cry 5 was made with the intention of announcing the return of Nero and Dante. Initially, they were planning to reveal the game last year, but they held it up for this year and wanted to show it along together with Resident Evil 2, as the Resident Evil series is like a brother to the Devil May Cry games. It was like telling the world that the brothers are back. As we all know, the release date for Devil May Cry 5 is set for Spring 2019, but we now have a much more clear release window for the game, as Capcom themselves have released a press release regarding both Resident Evil 2 and Devil May Cry 5, saying that both games will come out by the end of March 2019. Now we know that Resident Evil 2 is coming out on January 25, 2019, and it wouldn't surprise me if Devil May Cry 5 releases either the 3rd or in the 4th week of March, which is in the week of March 25 until March 29. And usually games have to be finished and go gold approximately one month before it hits shelves. So that means that the game has to be finished latest by the end of February. And as of June right now, that's more or less nine months of development time and polishing before we hit the end of February and the game is going to be gold. And besides that, Capcom is already saying that the game is more or less in its finishing phases and it's now only in its polishing and testing phases left. And I wouldn't be surprised if everything went on smoothly and we get the game out in the last week of March by latest. So as far as the production of the game and the goal that they have set for Devil May Cry 5 is that they want to make full use of the power of the current generation consoles. So their technical goal right now is set at 4K on 60 FPS and it's confirmed that everything you saw in the trailer was all running in real time. So it wasn't a pre-rendered movie or it wasn't an in-game rendered movie and it's fully powered by Capcom's own RE engine. As the developers are striving for a photorealistic look for the MC5 while delivering a great fast-paced action game in its 4K running on 60 FPS. But they also want to push both the hardware of the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X to its limits to fully demonstrate their power and capabilities. And as far as native 4K, I'm sure it will be achievable for those high-tech gaming PCs. And probably also for the Xbox One X since it's capable of delivering native 4K. But as far as the PS4 Pro that uses the 4K checkboard rendering, I think it will still look great but it won't be in native 4K, but to me that doesn't really matter as games on the PlayStation 4 Pro already look great. As far as the development of DMC5, it's been 3 years now since the full development started immediately after the release of Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition which was in June 2015 and most of the developers from Devil May Cry 3 and 4 are involved in the production of Devil May Cry 5. And that also includes the movie director of the cutscenes, Yuji Shimomura, who's also directed the cutscenes for Devil May Cry 3 and Devil May Cry 4. And his works are also clearly shown in the trailer of DMC5 with its great looking angles displaying the over the top action and movements. Cheer up, crew cut. It's no also wanted the game to be photorealistic, so he worked with people from other companies to scan people's faces and clothes. As they particularly focused on making good looking characters, so they modeled the characters after the real fashion models to create a stylish DMC look that's also realistic. And it's also mentioned that all of the character faces of the game were scanned from real people, and all clothes were also scanned from their real counterparts. 
that includes Nero's jacket as well as Dante and Nico's outfits. What's also important is the action in Devil May Cry 5, as it has to be very tight, as they are working on movements and controls that feel like Devil May Cry, while paying close attention not to make them fall into the uncanny valley of action. And basically what that means is that if you try to make something real, but the movements and action become animated, whether it's pulling a gun or a sword and putting it away, it makes you feel uncomfortable, it would feel very unnatural, anything would have been passable if they were to use anime like models, like in DMC. For. But in this case it would feel very weird on these realistic models where you have that uncanny valley. And it will get worse as over the top action increases. But one goal was to make the action appear naturally and smoothly without making it feel too weird. And it's extremely difficult to create animations that look good while considering all of these aspects. But Capcom says that they are very confident in what they are doing and they have pretty much nailed it. In terms of progress and development, DMC5 is almost near during its final stage of completion, where it goes into a playtesting, polishing and fine-tuning adjustment period until its release. And fans can already look forward to August, as Devil May Cry 5 will be playable at Gamescom. And of course, we'll get a new trailer with more info and details about the game. And lastly guys, the voice actors of Dante and Nero themselves, Ruben Langdon and Johnny Young Bosch had a special message to share with everyone while they were at E3, and the Devil May Cry 5 trailer was revealed. And this is what they had to say. Hi guys, this is Ruben Langdon. Did you see that trailer? Oh my god, mind blowing! Whoa! Can't wait for the rest. See you soon. Hey guys, how's it going? Johnny Young Bosch here, Nero, and uh, I'm super excited that uh, we can finally talk about it a little bit. But uh, I know that you're going to be happy with it because we're all proud of it and it's going to be really awesome. It surely looks like Devil May Cry 5 is heading to a great direction and that the team at Capcom that's working on the game, led by Hideaki Itsuno, is making the game with passion for the fans, as the fans are pretty much the reason that this game now exists and this project is in development. And it also seems that this is the true Devil May Cry game that Itsuno always wanted to make. And surely, the support of the fans and the positive reaction that they got from the reveal trailer helps them a lot in delivering a great and most likely as they say themselves the best devil may cry experience so far what no chit chat or monologue just getting right to the point huh and there you have it guys this was my devil may cry 5 news roundup but the most important thing is what do you guys think of any of the topics i've talked about in the video and what are your thoughts on it so jump into the comment section below and leave me your thoughts and listen guys while you're here why don't you like the video as it helps me greatly and become a subscriber to my youtube channel as i've got a few more devil may cry 5 videos in the making that will come very soon and you can find me on social media simply at yellow motion for more news and updates and that'll do it for me guys for this one thanks a lot for being here and thanks a lot for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace devil may cry